Roger. Thank you, Silicon Valley Business Journal, for this uh, honor. I'm humbled. And a shout out to my husband, my two friends there, Garima and Manju and Amar. So um, I don't necessarily want to talk about women back to work, but I this last year, I spent many days um, reflecting upon why supporting women, young girls, and giving back to the community is so important to me. And the answer was never clear until I looked back, very far back, into my childhood and early days. I grew up in uh, a, a small town close to Mumbai, and when I was six years old, my mother was diagnosed with a spinal cord tumor that left her bedridden. She was paralyzed. Even though the shadow of illness was upon her, despite all of that, she taught her two daughters to face adversity with a smile on their face. I and provided us precious education and a normal life as close as normal as possible. So I have witnessed perseverance and putting others before you very early in life and have learned it firsthand from my mother. And then I thought some more and I thought back to the days when many families and people lined up outside our house to meet my father because he's always willing to help and always willing to solve a problem for someone. And I wondered to myself, how could a man who had a disabled wife who could not, who was paralyzed, and two young girls to raise, have so much energy and so much passion to support the community and help the community? And when he passed away, there were many people who came to tell me that he had spent money on their heart surgery or helped with the cancer treatment or helped women in his community. And then I found just yesterday a picture of him being awarded Glory of India, he never told us this, uh, for his selfless commitment to others. The other recipient of this award was Mother Teresa. So I honor my father in many ways today. Through our Women Back to Work program that helps women return to the workforce and gain financial independence, we have a profound impact on the lives and careers of women we support. I honor him through our work with women entrepreneurs in Rwanda and Afghanistan by mentoring and coaching them so that they can build a better life for themselves, their children, their families, and their country. I honor him through our support for orphanages, race for literacy, working with Habitat for Humanity, and so many nonprofits as listed there. And Turkey Trot, by the way, if you haven't signed up, you should sign up for the Turkey Trot because uh, our goal this year is Mission One Million for five nonprofits. And then I honor my father by supporting young girls and lo locally and globally. So I dedicate this award to my parents who taught me that your greatness is not achieved by what you have or what you receive. Instead, it is earned by what you give, by the ripples you create and the difference you make in other people's lives, in our community. Thank you. Congratulations.